Okay, so I'm out here with the Dodge Ram van again today, and I actually got a comment on one of my other videos from the camper van man wanting to know where the starter relay and the automatic shutdown relays are on these vans. And so this one, it's, it's changed, it's, it's ever changing. Um, the last time you guys saw it, some of this stuff wasn't here, and there's some things that aren't here that were here. Um, I put a new radiator in, I put new hoses in, I put a new water pump in, I put this flex fan in. I don't have the shroud in because I accidentally broke a piece of it while I was doing this job. Um, I completely got rid of the smog pump over here, and I completely got rid of the AC pump as well. And I had to do a little bit of uh, creative finagling on some belts here. Um, these are normally double belted, um, which goes up around the AC, but now it's just got one belt from the crank to the alternator. So it doesn't really need two belts, but even if, it, even if you wanted two belts, on this back one right here to run straight across here, the belt rubs on that bolt right there. So I had to just leave it at one. And I had to do some pretty interesting uh, finagling around with some of this bracketry. It was really a job. But anyway, enough of that. I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I did to replace the water pump and get rid of some things that didn't work. Because as you guys know, this van, like, uh, I don't really think a vehicle could get much more worn out and still be on the road than what this thing is. <laughs> Uh, this thing has no less than 350,000 miles on it, and it's, uh, it's seen better days, and I'm cheap about working on it, so I'm not going to go spend hundreds of dollars to fix the AC, and I'm definitely not going to fool with fixing the smog pump. But anyway, I digress. The camper man van, the camper man van, listen to me, the camper van man sent me a comment on another video asking about some relays. So the starter relay is right there. Let me back up here. Or at least on this van it is. Um, he said his was a 91. It could be in a different spot, but it will look the same as that. Um, but that is the starter relay on this van. Um, I pointed out in the other video that the fuel pump relay is right here. And then the automatic shutdown relay is actually bypassed on my van. You can see these two fancy wires right here that are fused. Yeah, that's what that's for. But that is where normally the auto shutdown relay would go. It actually looks just like the fuel pump relay, except it's gray instead of black. But that, that would be where that would plug in if mine actually still had one. And then um, that relay right there, if I'm not mistaken, is actually the AC cutoff. I could be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's the AC cutoff relay right there. Um, but yeah, so, I mean, I wish I could uh, give you a little bit better insight uh, into where this would be, but in this area, on this van, is where that was. And uh, you can see it's it doesn't have one, but that's, that's it. That's what that's for, is the auto shutdown relay right there. And like I said, it, it'll look pretty much just like the fuel pump relay, except it's gray instead of black. So just keep an eye out for that, and it shouldn't be too difficult to find. Um, one reason it's easy to get to on this van is because I've done away with so much other stuff under the hood. But that's it, and uh, I really hope that at least points you in the right direction to find the relay on your van.